Uh, tell us what in, went into the decision. What made this the right place for you? Uh, I just knew this was the right decision for me. Um, uh, the coaching staff loved me, and they have a great plan for me. And I, I feel going forward that it was the right decision for me, and um, I feel like I'm going to do great things there. How long have you been in communication with Northern Michigan, and how long ago did you make this decision? Uh, I made this decision a few weeks ago, but I had to keep it on the low. But uh, I've been in contact with this coach for years now. Uh, he's recruited me the hardest. He's done a great job with me, and, and I really like the coaching staff they have there, so I feel like this is the right choice. You mentioned they had a plan for you. What, what, what parts of that plan were the appealing parts? Or what you, what, can you just elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, they think they can. Um, they think I can uh, make an impact right, up, right away um, on the team. Uh, they see me as you know impactful player, and, and I really like that. I want to I want to play early, and then, uh, that's what they said, so I like it. Well, did they t t say anything about position? You know, two, three. Uh, you know, ball handling. What's the plan? Uh, they really like how I, I play in high school. The, the two, kind of the three-ish shooting guard. Um, they want want me to play that position in college, and they see me excelling at the, at the spot, so I like it. Tell us a little bit about Northern Michigan basketball. What kind of style do they play? What uh, and how does that kind of fit you? Uh, first off, it's a winning culture for sure. Um, they win a lot of games. They work hard, and and from what I know, they they work well together. And I like that a lot. It's, it's a family aspect. But on offense, they're pretty free. They they uh, push the ball and they score a lot of points. But but um, I, I definitely gotta play some defense as well. Obviously, a great career here in Galesville. How do you think that'll prepare you for when you make that jump to the Wildcats? It's certainly gonna be a hard jump. You know, college is a lot harder than in high school for sure. So I, I gotta prepare myself. I gotta work hard in, in the gym this summer um, in preparation for this next this next season. And I'm I'm really really up for it. What where do you feel most comfortable in terms of the? the jump right now in terms of your game? What are you most comfortable doing and what looks like it's gonna be the easiest transition to that level? Scoring the ball and attacking the rim. I feel like I do a, a good job with my moves getting to the rim and I think that'll translate a little bit to college. It'll be a lot harder to do so, but, but I feel like um, that's what I excel most at right now, so I think I can translate that a little bit. When you were talking to them, what was the one thing that they were most impressed with and, and kind of on the flip side, was there one area that they really wanted you to focus on improving before coming to enemy? Uh, they just like how versus how I was on offense, um, you know, scoring the ball at all three levels. Um, they do want me to, you know, uh, become more of a catch and shoot shooter because in college I won't be facing so many, you know, double teams and um, weird defenses. So they want me to become more of a catch and shoot shooter and also become more of a lockdown defender. Who who else was in the picture for all this? I know you I know you you social media for some of it, but I think there were, you probably had some offers that weren't out there yet. Uh, who, well, who? I I had some offers. Uh, Minnesota State, Moorhead, St. Cloud State, and then I been uh, talked with a multitude of you know, D1 schools and then also a few other D2 as well. Okay. When did it click for you? Was there a moment where you said, this is where I need to be? You know, what, what, Was there one conversation? One, when, what was that for you? Well, honestly, it wasn't necessarily one moment. It was just uh, me seeing you know, how many games they were winning and you know, them winning big games and, and certain players there. Uh, Peter Lato was redshirted there this year and I really like that he's on the team and I feel like um, us working uh, together would be a great thing to see from the Cooley Conference. And um, that, that really kind of sold it, um, seeing how a person like Peter can make it out there um, and you know have a lot of fun. How, uh, how many times have you visited the campus and facilities and what was your impression of it? I only visited there once this last summer. Um, I loved it. I loved everything about it. I like, I like the facilities I have there. I like, I like the school in general. And uh, seeing the teachers, seeing you know, the students there, I really liked it. Was Peter a good source of information? Did you talk to him much throughout the process? For sure, yeah. I was in, I was in contact, connecting with him a little bit. Uh, like I said, being from the Cooley Conference, I, I know a person like me can you know, uh, enjoy it out there. And he's really enjoyed it. He's having a lot of fun, smiling a lot. So I hope I can do the same. Did you take official visits uh, to all three schools? I took an official visit to uh, Minnesota State Moorhead. I did not take um, official. I took unofficials to St. Cloud State in um, Northern Michigan. And what really was the deciding factor in choosing Northern Michigan over the others? Honestly, just the culture there. Um, like I said, it's a family. They win games and they, they win in the right way. Um, I really like how they share the ball and, and uh, everybody can get hot there. It's just who's night it is. So I, I really enjoy what they got going on there and I, I believe that can help win some games as well. And uh, I personally don't know how good the team performed this year, but how do you think them adding you can help make them a better program? Oh, they had an early exit in the tournament, but that certainly doesn't take away from their culture. I, I believe um, if, if things you know, 
pan out that we can we can make uh, win a couple big games, um, have a shot. They did win uh, the conference regular season, so I believe I can help do that again and hopefully make a, a bigger run in their playoffs. And I know you said Peter redshirted. That's not the plan for you right now, or that is, that it up is in the, the air? plan. That uh, it's not really up in the air. It, I, that, it, it is up in the air, but um, that's not the plan right now. They think you can come in. They I know think you I said can, it before. Yep. You think you can go in right away and yeah. and find a spot there. Yep. Okay. What what were some of the things that were selling points from from Peter on on the school? Just honestly, how much fun he was having. Um, okay. He he just the teammates. He talked about how great the teammates were. How much the coaches you know bought into the team. And you know honestly, even coming from in, he was a red shirt. He uh, felt you know the love from the coaches, despite not even playing a game this year. So I really like that how. Um, how much coaching staff cares, how much they want to win, and how much they enjoy being around their guys. How much were you able to see outside of campus and stuff up there? What's the area like? Uh, it, it's a little different from here. Um, I, I was in there for the summer, so I didn't get, I didn't get to see how cold it was going to be up there. But <laughs> think, uh, I think I'll be ready for it. It's pretty cold down here as well. So yeah. yeah. But it seemed like there are lots of things to keep you occupied there besides basketball and school as well? I think so. I mean, nice area? Yeah, good places to eat. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling going to be so far away from family and home? It's a bummer. <laughs> I don't enjoy being away from my parents, but um, I know they would love to have me keep chasing my dreams and, and go to a school that I like. So I know they're proud of me. It is a, it's a bummer, but how life is sometimes. <laughs> what, what's the plan for spring? Do they have, do you go on one of their like workout programs, that kind of thing, communication yeah, with them, I assume? Yeah, uh, once summer hits, I'm not too sure if they're gonna have me up there uh, doing workouts or not. They haven't told me yet, but um, they're definitely gonna be sending me workouts, telling me what to do in the gym and in the weight room as well. Okay. What's your plan for school, Cody? Do you have a, a major decided or what do you think that you might wanna go into academically? I do, I wanna go into a, a financial management um, degree. I hope to pursue that. So. Cool.